Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, we're gonna to go through your October challenge entries and pick a winner. So like I've just said, it is a time to go through your October challenge entries. The October challenge, if you forgot or just didn't know, or whatever was a connection and connection could be literal or theoretical it was open to interpretation as per the usual challenges and that's what we're going to cover off today so this month we've had loads of entries through i've put through everything from uh, the entries onto the screen now so you should be able to see those up there as a reminder, we judge all of the images based on our standard criteria, which is all detailed within the blog post, all of the monthly challenge blog posts. And I will just say a reminder right now to everybody that we cannot go through and critique everybody's picture as we do this video, because otherwise it will be ridiculously long and I'm making an effort now to actually keep it as short as possible while still getting across the information that I think is useful for the rest of the community. If you want a deep critique every single month on an image, Image that you can choose then you might want to go ahead and look at the membership which every single member every mtog gets a full deep critique every single month i think the main thing to know is that honestly if i could i would have everybody's critique in this video but we, we just can't do it okay so please don't send me messages asking why you weren't included. We just don't have the time to include everybody. With that bit of housekeeping out of the way, it's time to go ahead and jump in. So, let's look at this month's challenge entries. If you want to, you can skip ahead right over to the end to look at the next month's challenge. I would recommend sticking around because you might learn something that helps you to be more successful in the November challenge, right? Which is like a win-win. So on the screen right now, we can see everybody's entries. There's quite a lot of different entries, loads of different subject options and choices, some living beings, some not living beings, some humans, some animals, all sorts of stuff. And you know what? I really like that. What we'll do is we'll just start with the first one over here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go through just normal stuff. So black clipping, white clipping. Of course, this is Instagram quality stuff. So got to have a benefit of the doubt there in terms of things like sharpness and compression, etc., etc. So when we are looking at these images, we're going to just run through all of them as my initial walkthrough, which is what I do every single month. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some short lists. I have, and this is the first time, but I have read the captions on every single image that's been submitted this month because some of them were very theoretical and not literal, which I really like, by the way. But I, I was like, I need a bit of help with this one. So um, I read the captions and you know what? My heart goes out to everybody who has lost the animals or the people that are in these images because there are actually quite a few which were like end of life or after the fact. So let's start with this image here. In terms of the image as a whole, focus is in the right place. I think it's really nicely processed. There is a connection in terms of like the connection with the camera. And you can see that. And I think it's nicely framed. The composition's good. It's not too much space. It's not too little space. It's a great photo. Moving on to this image here, we've got some adorable little shelties. Very, very cute. Um, obviously, I think the connection element of this one is that they're all sat together. Good control of the highlights because we've got a lot of white roofs happening in there. It feels a little bit cool to me. I think it's good. I would have liked to have a little bit more light popping through in the different eyes and also this dude over here at the back is a little bit blurry. We have got a video on the channel for photographing multiple subjects. That might be useful for anybody who's looking at this and thinking, oh, you know, I have the same thing. Then go ahead and have a look at that video. I really like this shot. I think it's a great moment, great capture, I think, of Mr. or Mrs. Squirrel. I think it's really good. I think the composition of it is great. Even though obviously this is natural light coming in from the right hand side, just be careful that the light coming in isn't over brightening one part of the image that isn't the subject. Because really we want our eye to go straight to Mr. Squirrel or Mrs. Squirrel. So I would just recommend having a look and seeing if you could maybe add just like a linear gradient or something coming in off of this side to just knock the exposure down a touch or knock the highlights down a touch because that will probably be really useful. So it doesn't need to be quite that extreme, but you get the gist. It kind of, there's still the light coming from that way, but it's not overpowering Mr. Slash Mrs. Squirrel. I think this is a really sweet shot. 
and I get the connection and I think that you've done a great job with it. I just am a bit sad that there's not more space at the bottom of the frame. It's a little too tightly cropped for me. This is a nice moment of connection. I think that this is good. It shows the connection there, you know, between the two of them. This is sweet. Um, this is kind of like another situation where I would really like it just a little bit more space lower down. Between the pupper's paw and the bottom of the frame is like a teeny slither, but then between the top of the heads and the top of the frame is a big gap. So just having a little bit more balance would have been super in this shot. We've got clipped blacks in this one within the drink. I'm not overly concerned about it. In terms of the image as a whole, I think it's great. I just think the moment of them clinking together with the liquid kind of like sloshing up would have been, I mean, I don't know if they were chasing. I'm, I'm now just thinking ahead in the storyline here, but the moment that they like chink and then like the liquid goes, that would have been a more dynamic shot, I think. Maybe something to experiment with. This is a super sweet little pupper. Um, the eyes look a little bit soft. Judging by the depth of field and other areas of the image, I wonder whether the eyes are soft. I'm not sure, it could just be Instagram. I think it's a really nice moment though and a really great capture. It's always nice to see a portrait shot, as in like vertical. I always just like to see them because they are, you know, like a little bit more difficult usually to compose. But I think this is being composed really, really nicely. I love the fact that like within the Christmas trees, we've got all of these trees behind on this mountain and this horse is just kind of coming over the the brow of the hill almost with the Snow Queen, I'm gonna call her that, on top. I think it's a really great shot. I mean, I guess the only thing for me is that it would have been nice to have just a little bit more crunch in the blacks, like there, but that's me being picky. I think it's a great shot. This one is a little bit too dark. So I get that you've gone for the spooky vibe, but it is a little bit too dark. It's, if you look at the histogram, there's nothing past the mid-tones. Really, we needed them to be up here, do you know what I mean? So that we've got a little bit more of a straightened out histogram. And it could be that you then pull the shadows back, but you're like lifting the highlights. So at least you've got kind of the, the main subject matter coming out. It's just a little bit too dark, this one. I like this shot. Do you know what? The leading lines in this are really good. This is a good example of number one, your verticals, which we touched on last week. And number two, also like the leading lines coming in. I think the connection that we can see in this shot is not just the boat to the shore slash the boat to the lines, but also boats symbolize connection, you know? I like the edit on this as well. It's kind of grungy. The only thing that I would say is that we've got like this blue, ish tone happening in the shadows right which actually i really like i think it's good works well but then the sky is like warm slash black and white and that doesn't match i don't know what do you guys think that's black and white-esque that's with color that is my opinion my opinion is just my opinion but really like it this is super sweet the only thing that's missing for me in this one is a catch light in the eye it would have been really good to have had a catch light coming through in the horse's eye there. It would have just sort of like made the image come together a little bit more. I like the heather. I like the processing. Um, I think this is a really, really sweet shot. Maybe see if you could do some a little bit of contouring, a little bit of a dodge and burn on some of the areas of the horse's head. Horses' heads are great for doing some contouring. So it would have just maybe made the head of the horse pop a little bit more, but she's, she's lit really nicely in terms of the backlight. Her skin tone looks good. So loads of pluses in all of these areas. I really like this shot, super simple, right? But feel like I'm connected to the pupper here, poking its head round. I think this is a really simple, but effective image. Oh, a little moment of connection there between a parent or older dog and puppy. I think this is really nicely captured. It's a shame that we've got what we've got going on in the background. Imagine if we had Puppa and this dog in like a garden or like a meadow, or I know obviously it's a young puppy, but you know, use your imagination here. That would have given this whole image like much more presence because we wouldn't have everything going on in the background and like this ear coming out. I think it's a really sweet moment. This is a nice shot. It's just a, there's a little bit too much going on in terms of the hot highlights. Um, it also probably could be warmed up just a little bit, not overly so, um, but the highlights are really, really bright. 
I would go ahead and just see if you can go back to the original raw file and pull down the highlights a little bit. But may I just say, I love her boots. Okay, so a moment of a kind of like training, asking for a behavior. It's a good moment of connection. I wish the lady's ponytail was not over that side, if that makes sense, and was like pulled back because at the moment it's hiding her mouth and facial expression. And I think this would have been stronger had we had the side of a face visible or like her side of the connection because the dog side is super on it. Great angle of view though, nice waterfall behind, you know, I'm scared of water. So waterfalls for me are a bit of a no-no. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Uh, but yeah, great, great shot. Just wish that we had more kind of connection from her to the dog because the dog's giving it 110%. Okay, so we've got some form of a fly thing flying through and the connection here is between the dog and the fly thing. I actually think this is a really great shot in terms of your angle of view, your use of the city skyline behind. There's very little that you could have done differently in this situation to frame the dog any better. So I'd love to see the portrait that you took in this situation. The the fly, I like it, like don't get me wrong, I do like it. I just, you obviously didn't set out to capture a picture of the fly thing and the dog. You were set out to capture a picture of the dog and the city and I just wonder whether this image with the bug would be more successful if it was a tighter crop or if you could even go and push it for a vertical crop or a square crop which would take out the edgy bits. Now that being said I still really like this shot. I think you've done a great job. This is a super serene moment that has been captured here. I would just be careful when we're photographing women specifically to try super hard to make the head skin color match the body skin color because usually middle to the end of summer women are more tanned on their face and then they're like neck and chest usually less tan depending on their holiday and suntan and clothing habits. But in this situation, she is super pale and cool on the chest area, but whereas the face is a really nice color. So just be a little bit more careful maybe in terms of the skin tone. The moment itself is great. A little bit warmer would probably have not gone amiss because she's in a white dress, right? So you could either use your little drippy dropper to pick a point and use that as your white balance reference, or you can use the four sliders trick to get to a point where you're happier with the white balance. Do you see the difference in terms of like the cool and the warm for the people portraits? It can just be really, really useful. This is actually a really sweet moment. I like this. We've got two puppies happening, but the real story is right here. And this is a fantastic moment of connection between the two. I think this is great. A big burly bloke with tats and everything and a puppy. And they're having a little bit of a quiet moment. And I just think that that's really nice. I think it's really special. How could we have improved the image? I would probably have cropped in tighter still in, in this situation. It's just a nice capture of the moment. Really interesting shot. And I'm here for it. How could we have improved the image? Maybe a little bit less of the flowers in the front. Like a little bit. Like just a little bit less. But yeah, imaginative. Imaginative interpretation. This is super. This is actually really, really super. If this was taken, like, you never know with these things. If this was actually taken, I'm dead impressed. I don't mean if this was actually taken as though it's like pretend. I mean, is, is this a composite? Even if it's a composite, it's a great composite. You know, I'm not gonna take that away from the situation. I think it's brilliant. I think it's an awesome shot. Very, very, very well done. If anything, I'd say we're looking a little bit cool in the whites. Do you see the difference before? and after, before and after. And it might be that you're like, mm, don't wanna go that far. Don't go that far then. Just a little bit of a shift. <laughs> that is connection. We all have been there on the top of a mountain with a dog. I don't know whether we would've all been there. I like this one as well. Big, strong, powerful dog. A strong female with tattoos, sleeves by the look of it. I think it's great. Another nice moment of connection. The only question I have with this is why green? That's my question because I don't really understand the green. I feel like I don't understand it, but I really like the concept. 
the creator of this piece, can you let me know why green? I'd like to know. Super cute little ferrets. Ferrets are actually really cute. I think this is a great capture. I'd like connection between the two of them. This one is a little bit too much of a heavy vignette coming on to drop it into black and the subjects themselves are a little bit dark. So this is another one where really we need to be a little bit brighter, especially in the shadows. Um, but that vignette on there, there is a video on the channel about black background and that technique would have worked well here. I think it would probably have been slightly more successful, but nice moment between the two. Oh, this is a fantastic moment of connection. Anybody with a spaniel will know this moment very well. Fantastic moment of connection. Great that we've got the depth of field. So it's literally our eye just goes whoom, straight to here. Fantastic that we're in country attire. Great capture. This is super sweet. I think you've done a lot of things right. It is a little bit tight on the crop again. So we've chopped into the, into the dog here. Really handsome dog, especially this one. Very handsome. I like where you've gone with this. I understand your decisions that you've made whilst taking this. However, I do think that if you'd have been lower down, this image would be more successful, even though her head would be up past the line of the frame. But it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Okay, so I wanna pause on this one super quick because there is a caption on this image that I think is really important actually. So forgive me if I get this wrong. The girl, the rider, really enjoyed going to the beach with a horse and a horse passed away. So she wanted to scatter his ashes at the beach. And this is that moment happening. I think it's a brilliant capture of that moment happening. Well done for leaving a little bit more space to the left for the horse to move into. So that's really good going. I think the only other thing that could have maybe improved this would be to have captured them going past you rather than past you, if that makes sense. You can't have it all. This is a really sweet moment. Just watch, because I think you probably could add a little bit more brightness to this image. It's a really special moment. There's no harm in making it a high key black and white. Again, don't want to go ahead and change your style or anything, but we've got no clipped whites and we're at plus 1.25 of a stop. So just something to consider when you're doing things like the lifestyle photography. With the lifestyle photography, if you're gonna drop them into black and white, make sure that it connects with the vibe of the image as well. This is a really awesome capture. My only issue is the lack of space to the left, which you probably would have guessed that I was going to say, to be honest. It's just too tight to this part. If there was this much on here, then this would be really, really very well done. At the moment, it's really well done. It would just be really, really well done. Super moment that you've captured. This one, although they've got connection at the paw, both of them are looking the opposite way, so it kind of loses the connection vibe from the shot. Other than that, great work photographing in snow, good white balance, good exposure. Another moment of an obedient dog. This is really sweet. My only thing that I would say and suggest with this one is that I think it would have been more successful had you cropped in to, to about here because you've got this diagonal line, right? So watch where your eye goes. So you go up, down, and then you go all the way over here. Now, if you went like this distance this way, and therefore the crop was here, this would be a more impactful image in terms of its balance. Oh, this is cute. Look at them doing the little hug. That's adorable. I guess if, you know, if I'm having to pick something specific, it would just be that this highlight is hot. Like that is hot, hot. It's at 99% in red, green, and blue. So it's super close to being blown out. And then this area, although there's nothing wrong with it being dark, now at the top of this spaniel's head just kind of merges into it. Looks so like bright. This is a fantastic moment of connection. I think this is a really good capture. Look how focused they are. Nose is touching. Even the legs angled towards the puppy there. You've got curve coming back. It's a really good moment of connection. Really good. Just watch the white balance, that's all. I think it's slightly cool, but open to interpretation. I think this is a cool capture actually. The connection is there. I feel like we didn't need this, but I also understand why it's there. I think it's a brilliant capture of the moment. And yes, I would agree with the caption. I think he might need some new shoes. I think this is sweet. My only issue with it is just, you know, a typical fabric background situation is the creasing that happens at the floor line 
it just pulls your eye down, which is such a shame in this instance. And then just be super careful when you're doing your editing process that you're not getting banding. Instagram, you know, we can't stop everything, but I think that there's maybe banding in the shot. I'm unsure, but I think it's a really special moment. This one, the crop is the crop is just too tight. It's kind of okay having a bit of the head out, but the knees and feet are quite important for this one. But congratulations on the places. I love a Western tack. I like the shot, but I feel like we're not getting much of the connection story across. That is a typical pony. Definitely connection there and well handled in terms of your highlights and blacks. This is a super sweet moment of connection. I like the crop you've done. I feel like this maybe would have been more successful had it been portrait with the tail of the birds. So a little bit more above and come in portrait to go up there. This is a happy moment of somebody with their papa. If anything, I just feel like the grass is slightly overpowering, but that's all. I think this is a really sweet moment. I really like this image. I think you've done a really great job capturing this moment. It would have been awesome if the dog was looking at the owner or there was that interaction back that brought it back round. That would have been super. Okay, wildlife now. I don't have the patience for that kind of thing, tell you that for a fact. Did you know that the judges of the TOG Awards, one of them is a multi, like seriously multi, award-winning wildlife photographer, and I'm just jealous of the patience that she has, if I'm being quite honest. I think this is really nice. I would have liked a little bit more light on the subjects and a little bit less of this light here. Not take it out, but just less, because at the moment, this is where your eye goes rather than this. And it, this interaction is super sweet. I really like the ears. Okay, so this is really sweet. We've got a horse with its eyes closed having a kiss. That's cute. The main thing for me in this one is a uh, maybe slightly little tiny tiny little bit hot in terms of the highlights happening and then the second thing is that we seem kind of unbalanced because everything in the image is happening here but then we've just got this space here and i think actually this image would be much more successful if this was the center of the image do you see the difference oh this is sweet i really like this look at this natural framing happening we've got leading lines coming in we've got all the ingredients of a fantastical image. I think this moment is fantastic. I think you've captured it beautifully. Only thing I would recommend would be for you just to get down a little bit lower. It would have made a difference to how this appeared in terms of the impact. This is really nicely done. I think this is a really nice moment. Your compositional elements are all in check. Your verticals are good. The light works and there's not a lot going on, but there's a lot going on, if that makes sense. I really like this image, I think it's great. And I think you cropped it at just the right point. This is super sweet, I kind of like this. Oh, I feel like we're on like 101 Dalmatians or something right now. I think this is a fantastic capture. There's obviously, you know, the connection between the two. I feel like I'm in a story and I like it. I guess my only thing would be just maybe go a little bit easier on your vignette, just a little bit. It's just a little bit too heavy down here over the dog but that is me being picky Patricia because I think this is super. This is a really interesting capture actually. I'm not a spider person at all, but having said that, I think this is a really nice capture. The composition of it is just right. I think you've done a really good job. There is a connection here between the animals in nature and then the plants in nature. And I think that that's really sweet. I think the separation that you have from the background here as well is great really nice kind of street photography style documentary moment. This is a fantastic capture. Really, really does a great job of kind of summing up this month's challenge of connection. This is really sweet. Do you know what? I am struggling, I'm not gonna lie. I am struggling to assess the image with the watermark. I understand why that is required. I think this is really sweet. The composition's fine, it's great, it's a good crop. We've got the moment happening in there. I think this is super, super sweet. I'd have liked it to have a little bit more like oomph, a little bit more grit to it. But that's me being picky Patricia and personal opinion. This is really sweet. Again, we've got some color cast happening, white balance situation occurring on the black dog, but great picture of a dog at work. 
good connection. This is really nice. Do you know what? I actually really like this shot. This is probably one of my favourite images because of the dynamicness of the composition. I think this is really nicely done. Now, my only problem, if there is one, with this is that some would argue that the horse's eye should be sharp. But I think I'm fine with it because although the connection between the two of them is the story, the image is of her. And I think this is really nicely done. The light's beautiful, it's gorgeous, the horse is looking amazing. We've obviously cropped bits of pony off to make sure that she is the focal point of the image. I think it's actually really successful. I think this is really, really nicely done. This image is super sweet. My only issue is this area is where my eye goes. My eye's going like straight here. And I'm pretty sure it's because these guys are quite dark in comparison. Remember, always try and make sure that you are guiding the viewer's eye with areas of light and shadow, okay? And color and depth and contrast, etc. So in this image, the lightest part is this side and the darkest bits on the horse back here. But really our eye needs to be here. So don't be afraid of pushing your exposure a bit or adding a radial or doing some curves or whatever it might be because this is a super sweet image and it just needed a bit of a lift. This is a really great image. The bright highlights are very, very bright. And it's kind of one of those again that she's totally in the moment but the dog's at us but it is really intense still. I think it's a great shot. I think this is a really nice capture of this situation. The focus is great, it's in the right places, it's got impact, you've got the connection with the hand, and then also I can tell this dog is looking into your eyes. So you've got the connection happening here. I feel like I'm in the moment. I can tell we're at the beach, but I can't tell we're at the beach. So the story is definitely this little happy dude or girl, but I also have got a feeling of where we are as well, which I think is really nice. I think that's actually a really great shot. What a landscape. Uh, the composition of it's brilliant. I like your decisions that you've made. Love a good bite dog. Fantastic shot of a Malinois doing what it does best with a decoy. I think it's a great capture. I wish the moment was either we were tighter in or we were wider out and we saw the connection between the two. It's just, it's a little bit in betweeny for me. Oh, this is super sweet. I think this is actually a really nice shot. The lighting is good. A little bit hot on the shoulder in terms of the skin on humans, just watch the arms. And it looks like a little bit soft, but not out of focus soft. It's just very soft, which is fine, but just make sure that you're not over softening particular lines. So around the nose, creases around the mouth, um, around the eyes, around the hairline. Make sure that you're retaining those back out so that your image still carries enough grit and punch. Okay, shortlist time. I'm gonna do a reverse shortlist. I've done this before, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, we're at first shortlist level. I'm gonna to have to be brutal today. This one, I really like it. I just feel like the color for me. This one, I just wish was a bit tighter. This one, I've mentioned the situation with the hair. At this point, really, we have to start comparing. If we're comparing close-up portraits against close-up portraits, it's then gonna be this one versus this one. If we're two dogs, then we're, we're putting two dogs together. And if we're like dog and human, we're doing dog and human together. I think in terms of a dog kissing its owner, this one carries more impact personally. This one is just a little bit hot there and the composition for me. I really like what you've done and I think it's a fantastic image. This one, the sky for me just doesn't quite match up. Oh my goodness, guys, you brought it to the table and the table collapsed. Every month you all get so much better and every month my job gets so much harder. Come on, let's think about, let's just think about the theme because all of these are great. So let's go in the theme, connection. I'm gonna take you out, Mr. Squirrel, but I really appreciated you. That probably connection is stronger than this connection. This moment that's been captured is, is fantastic because it's not, it's, it's just so natural. Let's look at dog and owner. Sorry guys, I'm kind of dragging this out a bit. I'm not doing it deliberately. And I think this one has a nice story 
but we've got to we've got to look at the overall image. Same with that one. This one, it's literally just the highlights, those bits of grit and detail that we really could have done with. I think this is stronger. Likewise, I think this is stronger. The highlights on this one, I'm drawn to this cobweb one, but I think it's a really great shot. Our winner is amongst these. Oh, the Dalmatians are gonna have to go. I really like it. I just think if we're comparing, can you all hear the beeping? I don't know if you can hear the beeping in the background. That's Dan that driving his little dumper truck around the building site. Right, we're here guys. I've made my decision. And I'm gonna have to say it out loud before I change it. I'm going with gold. Gold is this one. This one is gold. I think it's a fantastic capture. That moment is, is really well done, really well done. Then I'm gonna go silver on this one because I think that's really, again, it's the moment that happened. And then bronze is gonna have to be this one because I think she has been captured so well, so well in this image. And the love that she has for that animal is so visible. There is an, there is an immediate connection and I think it's great. And also I totally understand and appreciate the decisions that you made with the crop, which I think are bold but they paid off. Now, let me just really quickly run through my reasoning why not the others, okay? Number one on this one, a little bit hot on that highlight just under that arm and the, the color cast is just a little bit blue, that's all. This one just needed a little bit more lightness, a little bit more vibrance, maybe a little bit more magenta in the color tone to just give her skin a little bit of a pop. This one over here, fantastic shot, would have liked the dog to be looking at the camera. Very picky, Patricia. Let's go ahead and look at our winners. Okay, so guys, that is the verdict. The verdict of the October challenge of connection is gold to Gina Soul, silver to Little Blue Dog Photography, and bronze to Marie Floor. Please, please tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Absolutely fantastic work, guys. Okay, let's move forward. Let's look. Let's quickly, quickly run through the November challenge. The November challenge is something I've prepared you all for with a couple of videos over the last 12 months. The November challenge is all about urban. Um, now, in this situation, we're looking at ideally urban portrait photography. It doesn't have to be of an animal, though. However, you, you know, open to interpretation. Go uh, a little bit crazy. I would recommend going and checking out the blog post, which is linked below, which goes through how to enter, how to make sure you submit in stuff correctly and what we're looking for in November. But that's it. I need to just go and have a lie down because that was really tough. Congratulations to everybody who entered because you brought it this month and I'm really impressed. So fantastic work. I'll see you all again really, really soon.